Morning folks, Kevin here. <clears throat> well, it's August 11th, 2018. I'm out in Pond 5. And yesterday I did some work out here in Pond 5. Uh, one of many, many days I've worked on in this pond whenever we have droughts and all. And in a previous video, I talked about how we use cardboard products and uh, leaf material that I've collected in the fall from uh, neighboring towns to seal up the, the pond uh, walls and the, and the base. This pond was excavated in basically a gravel bed area, gravel beds all around us here. And what I'm doing now is I'm near uh, the island within the pond. I'm down here in the pond right now. So I've got the GoPro Karma uh, camera, uh, the gimbal actually, hooked up to this monopod that this camera that you're looking at me with is attached to as well. So here on the island we can see uh, it's just gravel material here. We could see lots of willow type uh, uh, trees that, that have turned into bushes as it floods, they die back and all. These are all down in here. There are some pieces of tape that you'll see in here. Right now I'm walking in one of the areas that's, that has all of the glee, the material that we've, that's, that's developed as a result of all the decomposing paper products that's in here. And I'm actually getting a little bit stuck walking through here right now. But now, uh, as we look at one of the banks here, we can see all of the coarse gravel material here amongst the uh, small, trees that have started to grow up in here and died once the pond got filled up in the fall. So this is not a spring fed pond. This is an area that was dug in a gravel bed. When we look to our west over here, now this is the, the west wall that I've been working at pretty steadily. It's more of a gradual slope, not such a steep slope. And I've been using the cardboard paper products, sh shredded paper, uh, old journals. <laughs> Uh, leaf material, some wood chips as well, and it's worked out pretty well. So what did I do yesterday? Well, uh, the area right in front of us, you can see all of that material up there right at the, the top edge of the pond, and this is one of the lowest spots in the pond here. Uh, all of that greenery is growing up where wood chips and leaf mulches had stayed pretty much stagnant there. And you could see the, the color of the material on the ground. You could see some nice dark area, but you can also see some spots where the gravel shows through as well. So what I decided to do was get on Bumblebee, the mini, mini excavator yesterday, and I decided to basically see all those, all of the uh, goldenrod and Pennsylvania smartweed and all those materials way up there. Well, what I decided to do is take all that green material, use the grader, the grader bucket on the, uh, tr the excavator, and just knock it down. And there'll be some video footage, GoPro footage, of me on Bumblebee, the excavator, uh, following this introduction. And what I did do was I first knocked all that material down because I knew I had, we had saved up a, quite a bit of cardboard and uh, paper products. And... You may be able to see some of those underneath all the wood chip material. So the day before yesterday, we got a load of wood chips. So I, after knocking down the, all of the uh, weed material that was at the top of it, I still had some area where gravel was. So here's gravel right here. You can see the difference. So this is all porous material, so it's going to leak through here. So I've got more work to do here. But as we move around, you can see the darker material, which is the glee, the, the uh, organic material that's decomposed and it's sealed up. And so the ducks and the geese and all the fish that are in here do quite well at this point because uh, this lower part of the pond is subject to evaporation, but it's no longer porous. It doesn't leak down here. So I, what I decided to do was use the excavator, uh, do some sculpting around trying to remove uh, some of the excess material at the top and there was some good organic material that I removed from up there unfortunately but I wanted to make it uh, make it easier for me to lay out the cardboard and paper as we get it put the wood chips on top of it to see if I can keep it uh, rather higher on the area so I brought the all of the wood chips and the uh, carbonaceous materials down to the level where 
it's been previously sealed up fairly well. And I intend on working on the area up there where you can see bumblebee right now as well. But what I did was I came in, knocked down the uh, brush along the very top part up there where the wood chips are now. Then I went ahead and removed lots of rocks because as the, uh, the water had uh, moved through this pond system, um, a lot of the material ended up, uh, the sediment just sort of worked its way down the pond and many rocks were exposed. So I went ahead and removed those rocks, uh, sculpted out a more gradual slope right here. Uh, let me see if I can turn the camera that way. So right in here in front of Bumblebee, I sculpted out that whole area so that I can lay cardboard and paper products down in here. Sculpted out around the area where the, uh, where the spillway from, uh, from the northwestern part of the property, the, the uh, swale system that comes down so it can come in here and I can capture any significant uh, rainfall that comes. And I still have to do this whole area around here. But after doing all the sculpting, the work with Bumblebee, the next thing I did was I bought Pepe, the little four-wheel utility vehicle down here, and started taking out a lot of the rocks, picked up any of the tape that was around that was still exposed. And then I came in and removed a lot of the, uh, the dead um, willows and other tree material that's, that's around the banks. Now I've got a lot more to do here but I am really encouraged by how well this cardboard and paper product sealing of the pond has worked. The thing is getting enough paper products to do this job uh, and complete it as well. What's going to show next is a little bit of some of the work on the with uh, Bumblebee and then me coming down uh, with Pepe, the, the utility vehicle, taking things out, ultimately coming down, putting the paper products here, so if you found this video of value, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, uh, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we post more videos. And certainly folks, don't forget to uh, leave any comments or questions that you may have. I, th I think that as a community, we can all learn from each other uh, by exploring and trying all these different things that we can. Thanks so much folks and have a fantastic day. Bye bye now.